Hey, what's up? Ando here from senseiando.com. Power, power, power. Everybody wants more power. Okay, well today I'm going to give you one tip to add more power to your punching, your kicking, your running, jumping, your next watermelon seed spitting contest. I mean everything. The secret? Well, it all comes down to one simple question. To be a great martial artist, you have to put as much of you into every technique as possible. Not just psychologically or emotionally, physically. It ain't how much you got, it's how much you can use. So let me ask you, do you really think you're putting 100% into every technique that you do? I love you man, but you're probably not. Me either. And here's what I'm doing to fix that. Pick a technique, let's say a, an elbow strike. Okay, now ask each part of your body, how are you helping me? Let's start with your back foot. Are you starting with your weight on the outside of the foot, the inside, or is it even? Is your foot flat on the ground or is your heel raised? If it's raised, how much? Are you shifting forward or are you drilling down? Good questions. Now comes the fun part. Experimentation. Throw a million elbows using every combination of weight shifting and movement that you can. Your goal is to figure out how to get that back foot to help you throw your elbow with more power. Hang on, you're not done yet. As a matter of fact, we're just getting started. Now take a look at your back ankle. Is it stiff or is it loose? Is it bent or straight? Are you pivoting a little, a lot, or not at all? Keep the inquisition going. Move up to your back knee, your back hip. Switch over to your other leg. What's that foot doing? The ankle, the knee, the hip. What about your lower back, your upper back? Lower abs, upper abs, your breathing, your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, your fingers, your face, your neck, everything. Now look, different styles, different teachers, different people will all have different ideas about how to use your body. I'm not here to tell you how to throw an elbow today, but I am telling you that you should know what each part of your body is doing to help you throw one. When you ask each body part, how are you helping me, there are only three possible answers. Either it's helping you, it's doing nothing, or it's hurting you. So let's go back to the elbow. Take a look at your back hip. Maybe it's pivoting, so it's helping you, but could it pivot more? What about your other hip? Is it helping you? Maybe you're using it as a hinge, or is it pulling back? You should know. What about your shoulder? Maybe you're starting off your elbow strike with a little bit of tension in your shoulder and in your neck, and that's slowing you down or cutting your range of motion. Well, you should relax. You should fix that. What about your head? Maybe you saw my video about bobbleheading. Maybe you throw your head and it shakes a bit when you throw your elbow strikes. Well, in that case, your head should do less. You want to just keep your head straight and keep that chin tucked and nothing more. Don't let it hurt your elbow. The big idea here is to turn on the body parts that should be helping you and turn off the body parts that are hurting you. When you find that sweet spot where your whole body is helping the motion and nothing is holding you back, well, that's when you're going to be at full power. The key to power is awareness. If you want to put 100% of you into a technique, well then you have to know what 100% of you is doing. But don't kid yourself, this is a process. Awareness takes time. So be prepared to do some work. Be prepared to spend some quality time with yourself. Light some candles, play some music, and hey, flowers are always nice. Keep questioning your body, your mind, your heart until you can put 100% of you into everything you do. That's when you'll be a master. And that's your tip. One simple question that will cause you a lifetime of frustration. <laughs> if you like that tip, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you want to catch up on everything I'm doing, find the link to sign up for my free email updates list. Until next time, keep questioning, my friend, and keep fighting for a happy life.